Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Fallout 76 camp build on the channel. Now I may not be a cordless VII or III, whatever, a final render or a crazy builder like Sinister Hand, but I like to think I have my own style of build, some of which you are watching right now on screen. See one that takes your fancy? Be sure to check the description for the playlist to see them. And if you have any requests which you want to see me build, be sure to comment your ideas down below. Now that's a long enough introduction, so let's jump into my latest build. If you enjoy it, be sure to let me know by liking the video, and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Beach House, which I made quite recently, I think I made it a couple of weeks ago now, but I literally, guys, I'm sat on so many camp builds on, like, on my computer and stuff, I want to make them all into videos, but I don't want to do them every day and stuff, so let me know in the comments how often you want to see camp builds on the channel like my own personal ones rather than just the type of showcases that i keep doing each week now it's a really nice build on the left hand side as you can see i've got this nice like sunbathing area because weirdly by accident scorpio actually noticed this from the east to the west the sun rises i believe and where the house is actually located or the camp i should say sorry the sun rises from the left hand side which the obviously the camp is facing and falls on the right hand side so you catch the sun perfectly so it's a perfect spot for like sunbathing in the evening type of thing and then inside we got the relatively new free wallpaper that came out the blue one when i did make this build this um this wallpaper was literally brand new and i thought i'll get this up straight away and then turns out i didn't i've ended up doing other camp builds and stuff in the meantime but yeah, this is it. I've got a nice kitchen off to the right, off to the left now. We've got this nice little seating area. I like it because it's nice, small, and like condensed type of thing. Got a nice little display case as well. I could have possibly changed the display case and showed stuff in there like household items type of thing. Something a bit more realistic for the setting. And I don't know why, but that wall there with the Mr. Handy sign on the wall just, I found it so satisfying. And then upstairs, I changed over to the grey wallpaper, which was also free, I believe. So over here on the right, we've got the bedroom area. I put some furniture and stuff and a nice little display in the corner for your magazines with another television as well. So when you're lying there in bed, you can watch the telly. And even though it is a nuclear wasteland, who, you know, live in luxury, guys. Why not? The bathroom is something about this build which I was really happy with. What I did with the bath, with the plants behind it and stuff, and the vase, I think really added to it. And it really kind of makes the bath better, considering this this horrible, rusty old bath, which is kind of disgusting, but kind of worked well. And obviously I put the fruit bowl in as the sink, because at the time of making this, we didn't actually have the sink, which I have purchased now. And it is in my new camp build, which I will be bringing to the channel soon. I didn't show off the uh, little balcony bit, unfortunately. Don't know why I didn't. But I should have. Basically, there was a little white table and chairs out there with some flowers on the table and some plant pots in the corners with some lights in. Out the back here, I had this idea of having like a little off back room type of thing. You could imagine it being, you could see maybe a garage. I could put a garage door in there or something. And it's like the garage on the back of the, the beach house where you've got all your workbenches and tools. But that was the idea. I wanted them out the way, kind of like out of sight. But yeah, I was quite happy with this build. It's very simple, nice and tidy looking. Unfortunately, as you can see, there's a little gap between the fence and the wall. I really messed up with this build. I wanted to start a new build and I was testing new areas for camp builds and I decided to move the camp. Then I had to put it all back together again, which was stupid. But there's the build. If you enjoyed, guys, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new and drop some suggestions of what you want to see in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and see you later. Goodbye.